In this video, I'll demonstrate how to profile .NET MAUI applications to find performance issues. We'll use VS Code with .NET Meteor and SpeedScope extensions so it can be used on either Windows or Mac OS. I've already opened the .NET MAUI project. Please note that VS Code doesn't use SLN files created by Visual Studio, so you need to open the project folder instead of a project solution. Let's prepare all the tooling. Open the Extensions tab in VS Code and install .NET Meteor. This extension allows you to collect profiling snapshots. You can also debug .NET MAUI applications and use Hot Reload in XAML and IntelliSense. You've got practically everything you'll need to develop .NET MAUI apps in VS Code. After that, install the SpeedScope extension. This extension visualizes performance snapshots collected by .NET Meteor and presents them as a flame graph. Then, Navigate to the Run and Debug tab and create a launch.json file. To profile your app, add a profiling configuration where the profiler mode attribute is set to trace. Save the modified launch.json file and select the profiling configuration from the drop down menu located next to the Start button. Select the device and start the application without debugging. Navigate to the application page you'd like to profile and interact with the page. .NET Meteor will automatically record all functions called during this process. Now you can stop debugging and start analyzing the collected data. Note that it's necessary to stop the application using the Stop button in VS Code instead of closing the application on your device. Once the application is stopped, a profiling snapshot will be available in the speedscope.json file under the Meteor directory. Right-click this file and choose to open it with Speedscope. Here is a flame graph of all functions called during the profiling session. You can navigate to a particular timeline section using the top navigation bar. The wider a function in a flame graph is, the more time it takes in your application. Functions with a similar call stack are automatically merged so you see an aggregated view that helps you analyze performance data more efficiently. I'll select a function, and you see how much time this function instance took and how much time this function took when it was called from other places in your application. There are two additional tabs, Left Heavy and Sandwich. On the Left Heavy tab, all functions are ordered according to their execution time. So as the name suggests, the heaviest functions are in the left part. The Sandwich tab allows you to find a particular function and see all methods called before and after it. You can use Control F to search on all tabs, so if you know a potentially problematic function name, you can find it using the search feature. You now have everything you need to examine performance issues in your app. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below, or you can email our support team at support at devexpress.com. Don't forget to include a link to this video. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.